Hello YouTubers, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Gonna do a little video today. I've been getting a lot of questions on the uh, self-watering rain gutter grow system and I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can in this video for you. Okay, let's shoot. Let's shoot right away. Here's uh, number one. Water hookup. I've been at, some people have been asking me, can I hook up my uh, rain barrels to it? Absolutely. That's an excellent idea. Uh, what I would do, and you can try this, is put a float in your rain barrel so that, say, if you're gone and it uses up what's in the rain barrel, you got a backup. Say you can put a float down in the barrel or rig up something so that it will draw from your regular garden hose or your well or whatever to back it up, you know. Because remember, those uh, rain gutters. Standard 10-foot rain gutter will hold five gallons of water. And I've noticed that in the summer when it's hot, it will drain that twice a day. Because for a long time I filled them by hand and I did measure to see what they'd hold. So if you've got any amount of them, well, of course me, I've got 10. Well, 10 of those, that's 100 gallons of water a day. You get a couple of days without no rain, uh, rain gutter system won't work. I mean, the uh, water collection system with the rain barrels won't work for me, at least as many as I have. I could do it, and I might still do it, uh, and do the backup, like I said, have a backup way to uh, have water, the feed, you know, if it gets too low and it uses up all the rainwater. Okay, anyway, uh, different float types. Okay, here's something I learned. When I ordered my floats, and you're going to find the links for all this stuff under my video, okay? Uh, it'll take you to the float, but there's a whole bunch of different ones there. I ordered the standard float. They're nice, really high quality floats. Uh, reasonable, 140 PSI, really made uh, heavy duty rubber. They're used in industrial applications, so they really hold up. Uh, you can get standard ones. You can get... Uh, adjustable ones. I like the adjustable ones and uh, you're gonna notice that you can what I do is when I install them I put them up on the rain gutter on the, on the end piece when I install it, drill the hole to, to put it in put it up as high as you possibly can gives you a little more uh, adjustment range okay the float that I ordered when I uh, originally started building these is half inch uh, male thread and then I just screw on a uh, garden hose adapter which is a half inch female to a female garden hose adapter and I can hook it up which is great but when you build 10 of them you don't want to be running 10 garden hoses that's spendy and those little uh, brass uh, adapters are not cheap either they're five six bucks a piece if you only got like one or two no problem but if you're going to do a bunch like I did now I'm going to order other ones uh, I installed some of them but I'm going to I'll keep those for other ones that people want, some rain gutter systems uh, I'm going to build this spring. Uh, go click on this, go below and you click on the, the link to the float types. They've got ones with barb fittings. You can get quarter inch, three eighths, I think they're three eighths would probably be more uh, standard. Daisy chain them together. That's what I'm going to do. You can take ten or five or four or whatever, all your rain gutters and have the barb fitting right on the end of the float now you don't need that adapter that'll save you the money and you can get some inexpensive uh, poly hose and go from one to another to another to another with the little tees and then this one garden hose can run the whole works that's how I'd recommend doing it okay uh, another question can I add anything to the rain gutter when it's growing I, okay, like I said, you'll find on my website here, you can go on and check on, uh, click on my videos and you'll see um, how I make my uh, potting mix. You know, it's uh, real, uh, it's uh, two parts uh, 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 sphagnum pea moss, one part, well I've used a, okay, let's, let's just say a wheelbarrow, I'll make up a bunch. I'll take two five gallon pails of sphagnum pea moss, one five gallon pail, of the uh, well uh, rotted horse manure, a coffee can full approximately, you can tell about what looks right, of perlite, and I put that in there, and then I put in a good cup, about a cup of uh, 
uh, agricultural lime or dolomite if you can get it and then I put a little handful of Epsom salts and that's what I put in and that usually will carry it over pretty dang good if your plants look like they need a little something here's the deal you can use something organic or you can uh, in the rain gutter itself this is what's great about this system you can uh, it holds five gallons of water so what I'll do is uh, the recommended amount on like say your miracle grow, grow uh, plant food is one scoop to a gallon of water I'll just take five scoops put in a little bit of water enough to dissolve it and dump it in a rain gutter and man it looks like they're on steroids it really is imp impressive I'm, I'll do that periodically if it looks like it needs a little something or you can use some um, organic or, uh, alternative if you don't want to use the miracle Grow. also compost tea if you don't know how to make compost tea I recommend that there's a lot of good videos on the uh, on the internet on YouTube I would uh, later this spring hopefully I'll do a video on compost tea uh, there's you know some really good ones you can dump that in the ring and that's great too you know another thing okay uh, set up in a greenhouse here's one of the really great advantages of this system okay when you're starting raising uh, like I have a short season here because I'm in Minnesota uh, and I tried messing around and it worked out okay last year I raised try to raise some watermelon and cucumber and muskmelon and uh, our cantaloupe plants early and then transplant them. well you know they don't like to be transplanted uh, so here's what's really cool uh, daily prepper I got her link right below the video click on it and you can go to her website or you can uh, link right to the uh, I've got the self watering ring gutter grow system in a greenhouse link right to the video I did on her video and this is a neat idea because now you can set up if you've got room or a greenhouse this is awesome because you can start your seeds and, and uh, like that in the greenhouse in the bucket okay set up a rain gutter system in there this is what I'm gonna do this spring and I can plant my watermelon my cantaloupe my uh, uh, cucumbers things that don't like to be transplanted and uh, and then just lift the bucket right out and when it's time to plant, just move the whole bucket out. I have you know, I have my other rain gutter system setting outside, and that's fantastic because you don't get any transplant shock, and I think that's going to work fantastic. You know, another video I got under here is uh, under the video is is uh, a guy in um, uh, Grand Forks, uh, North Dakota. He took the con my concept here and come up with a indoor grow system with the rain gutter system it looks like he took a 10 foot system cut it in half two five foot and he's raising tomatoes and peppers and a bunch of stuff inside his um, um, uh, house with grow lights with hooked up you got to really see the setup it's really cool and he's having great success with it so uh, uh, and another thing okay here I'm looking at some of the other questions I have I don't know if you've ever seen the Back to Eden video, but if you haven't, go to Back to Eden film, or you can just type it in and see it. It's a, it's a phenomenal film on this guy that raises uh, everything uh, great with using wood chips. And uh, it, it's just, you have to see the video. I'll put a link underneath on here so you can see a Back to Eden video. Watch it. It's, what I did is I asked him, could I apply that to my containers? And they said, yes, I'd get the same results. It's incredible the results this guy gets. So what I'm going to do is when I plant my containers, a five-gallon pails or whatever, I'm going to put like three, four inches of, of uh, wood chips, not sawdust, wood chips. You don't want sawdust, wood chips on top. Don't mix it in. And what it'll do, and I just seen a uh, permaculture video, excellent one, they claim that cuts back the water usage like to one one tenth of what you'd use otherwise. So rather than putting a plastic thing over top the bucket or anything like that, I'm going to do the wood because what happens is the wood chips break down and create a natural compost 
or uh, or compost tea to go right in and really retain the moisture and everything. So that's what I'm going to do with my containers this year. I'm going to put wood chips on top of all my containers. And that brings up another thing. Okay, you don't have to use, that's the beauty of the system, you don't have to use just the five gallon buckets. You know the little totes you can get at Walmart or or Home Depot, you can use the totes. I'm going to use some of them. I use little whey paper baskets. I use buckets from the dollar store. I use 18 quart um, wash tubs from the dollar store. Any container, basically of any configuration, the totes would be really great, you know. Uh, special, or I'm going to use some of the big round rope handled ones, and I'm going to plant potatoes in them. I'm going to put, uh, oh, I don't know, three, four inches of, uh, you know, the um, potting mix in the bottom. Plant the potatoes, and what they say works great is plant them, put a little compost over top the the potting mix, and as they come up through that and they stick up a few inches throw a little more what you want to do is do it in steps so what they'll do is they'll create potatoes at every level i had a lady friend of mine that built four of my rain gutter systems last year and she happened to have one bucket left over she didn't know what she was going to put in it and she had a volunteer uh potato plant and just put it in her she says oh my gosh i'm going to do tons of potatoes next year the results she got were fantastic so yeah i'm going to do a bunch that way but uh, anyway, that's about all I can think of right here. Uh, flow types and everything. Uh, uh, if you got any questions, make sure you you click on my link below here and go to my Facebook page. That'd be so easy. Then you can post. Uh, if you've got if you've got a rain gutter system you're building, or you got any questions, post it on the Facebook. It's so easy. I can check it. I can answer your questions on there, and I would love it. Love it if any of you people. Uh, who's building the systems, post your pictures, give us updates of what's going on the Facebook page. Uh, if you got some videos, upload that. Uh, put a link from uh, you know your YouTube maybe on there. Uh, feel free to do it because we want to you know have uh, everybody share with this and, uh, and just really develop this into something. Uh, if you've never built one of these, I've got all the information below the video. You got to build one. Just build one. Just try one. It will amaze you. You know, it's total maintenance free. That's the beauty of this system. You plan it and forget it. You know, it self waters itself. It does everything. You don't have to do anything but go out and pick nice, you know, tomatoes off of it and cucumbers and green onions and lettuce and. I got strawberry. I raised everything in it last year, and I had. You can see my videos on my channel. Fantastic results. So anyway, that's uh, the update on any questions. Any further ones, like I said, click on Facebook, hit the little like button, and uh, post any questions, and I'll try to get right back to you. This is Larry Up and Brainerd. Ciao.